I started to feel ill. I think it was around September in 2014 when a lot of um, my neurological symptoms had started and it was like kind of scaring me actually. Some of my symptoms, well, there's way too many to name, but the main ones that bothered me, I think, were not being able to sleep. I was extremely restless at night. Um, I had very bad digestive issues. Um, like sometimes I would lay in the bathroom floor for three hours because I felt too nauseous to even leave uh, <laughs> being near to a toilet. There was a, a period of like a year where I had I probably like 20 urinary tract infections and I kept going back and forth to the doctor. And of course they gave me the same antibiotic, um, which didn't make sense to me. But um, So those were some of the main things I dealt with, but chronic fatigue, like I couldn't focus in school. I would wake up and I would just feel terrible. I would feel so stiff. Um, I never felt rested. It was just a lot of stuff going on all at once. Living with Lyme has been very challenging, especially because most of my time living with Lyme, I didn't know I had Lyme. A lot of my loved ones couldn't like understand how I was feeling or what I was going through, and so you definitely feel very alone at times. And it was frustrating because it was like we were chasing symptoms, and um, the doctors could tell you a thousand things <clears throat> that weren't wrong with you, but could not identify what was wrong. Right. I heard about the Upper Cervical Spine Center through um, my doctor at the Carolina's Biofeedback Clinic. After my adjustments, my hormones are coming back into balance, like my face is clearing up. I had my first regular period in a year and a half. I'm actually sleeping better for the first time in like four and a half years, which is amazing because my average amount of sleep was like three to four hours a night, and now I can get like nine hours in one night. So now my body's kind of oversleeping a little bit, but we'll get there. It's a mm -hmm. process, but um, you know, mentally I feel a lot better. I don't feel like I have any anxiety problems anymore. I wake up in the morning and I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as stiff and I can actually concentrate like on my schoolwork. I recommend the upper, upper cervical spine center. Um, actually, all the time. All the time. <laughs> I, I say it to everyone now. Um, you know, after going to our console and seeing all the things that it can cause, um, it made me, every time I would hear of a different thing that it can cause, I thought about like, oh, my friend has that, or oh, I know somebody that struggles with that, and so now I just want to send everybody to get the same help that, you know, I have been so fortunate to have. I joke with her a lot. I was very interested to know um, that you can do adjustments on like newborn babies, and I think that's so crazy, and I tell her all the time, whenever I have a baby, um, I'm taking it straight to the Upper Cervical Spine Center and getting it checked out and adjusted and all that stuff. So. <laughs>